It's your girl Sian, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I went back and forth on like what YouTube video should I do first. I should start off with like a simple author tag, just so y'all could get a feel for who I am because I write books. Hello. So I'm gonna do an author tag. Okay. The first question is, when did you write your first story? Y'all, I don't remember when I wrote my first story. I had to be in elementary school, had to be like free writing or something. I don't remember that. I couldn't tell you, honestly. That's like asking me, when was the first time you went to the bathroom? I don't remember. A long time ago. Second question is, what type of writing do you do and how did you start writing about that specific thing? I write urban fiction and I started writing about that because I could relate to it. And that's my favorite thing to read. So it's really just those two things I enjoy reading. So it just comes easy to me to write about urban fiction. Third question is, what gender do you prefer to write about? I prefer to write about females because I'm a female. So it's just, um, I understand females more. But I can write about these niggas too easily. But it really don't, it really don't matter. I can write about anybody. Fourth question is, have you ever worked on the basis of another author's story? I'm really lost about this question. It's like you asking, did I read somebody else's work and then go write my book with that in my head? I think that's how Biden happens. <laughs> I don't do that. I mean, it's one thing to be inspired, but I'm never going to remix somebody else's story. Because if somebody do that to me, it's going to be a problem. I don't do that. I separate being a reader and a writer. That's what I do. I separate the two. Fifth question is, when was your first book published? Well, my first book was published um, a year ago. It's so sad. I don't remember the specific date. But <laughs> my first book was published in April of 2017. And it's called That's All Me. And it's on Amazon.com. The sixth question is, have you ever thought to write for movies? Um, No. Um, <laughs> no, like, real stuff. I feel like books are better than movies. I always felt that way. But I would love if my books could be turned into movies one day. The seventh question is, how many years have you been writing? Okay, um, officially, for, like, other people to see, it's been a good eight years. But I wasn't published up until, up until a year ago. So... Starting around 2010-2011, um, I started writing fan fiction on YouTube. Now, fan fiction, for y'all who don't know, you take a celebrity and you write fictional stories about them. So I did that for a while. And I will not tell y'all who this fan fiction was about. But if you think of that era between 2010 and 2013, you could probably guess what it was about. The eighth question is, are you already published or in the process? Um, I am already published. Like I said, my books are on Amazon. Just type in Sian Lee and my books go pop up. And you should definitely read them. First of all, why are you here if you don't read them? That's the first question. But yeah, go check that out. The ninth question is, what was your first story about? Once again, I do not remember. Tenth question is, do you write for yourself or for any other purpose? Kind of both. Because I feel like anything that you love to do, you should do it to fulfill yourself, first of all. But, of course, you want other people to like it, too. So, I mean, I write for myself and I write for my readers. And, you know, as long as we're happy, I'm good. The 11th question is, what do you like to put in your writing that represents you? Okay, so if you read my books, which you should read them, you will know that New Orleans is a reoccurring setting in my books and they will always be mainly because New Orleans is not represented in urban fiction the way I would like it to be represented um, when I decided that I want that I wanted to write full-length books I said I'm going to really make these people know what New Orleans is about I gotta put on for my city and that's what I do in my books 
And everybody who read them say, girl, I feel like I was there. And I'm like, that's all. That's all I wanted. Because, like I said, I feel like, I feel like New York has a name for itself in urban fiction. Places like Atlanta. But New Orleans don't. So, I had to give New Orleans a good backdrop. The 12th question is, why did you choose this profession? Child, I didn't choose this profession. This profession chose me, okay? The 13th question is, what really inspires you to write? I guess life experiences, whether it be mine, my friends, my sisters, you know. 14th question is, do you think to write a quality book that a person must have an experience of love? If the book is about love, I guess, but <laughs> I don't think um, I've ever really been madly in love with somebody and I write about love all the time. So, because I've seen examples of it. So, you don't have to bump your head into the wall to know that it hurt. Like, you can write about somebody else's experiences and you can still write about it good. The 15th question is, when do you think is the best time to write? For me, nighttime. That's, the, that's when I'm in a zone at night. The 16th question is, is silence an essential thing you need to write? No. I've written in silence. I've written in silence before. But, um... Honestly, I prefer to have music going in the background. The 17th question is, how would you explain your writing and your main theme? Um, my writing is usually centered around, it's like a romance, but it's also culture driven too. So it's like a mix of those two things. The 18th question is, what do you think about the world? I don't know why this question is even on this list, but child, I don't think about the world. The 19th question is, can you please tell us about your writing playlist? My writing playlist is R&B music from the 90s, from the 2000s, and I just started adding like newer stuff in there too because I feel like R&B is making a comeback. You got Sizzler, you got Normani, you got all these new girls and I'm here for it, so all those people are on my playlist. 90s R&B, like, it's just a different type of feel. It really make you feel like you're in love even when you're not. So, that's on my, that's on my playlist when I write. I mean, at some point, like, if, like if I've been writing for hours, I gotta turn it off because I can't listen to one specific thing for a long time. So, I'll put on some rap music then. Like, I'll put on some Nicki or some Kendrick. My two favorite rappers, by the way. But I'll put on some Nicki or Kendrick then, then I'll, you know. And a lot of the times... What I'm listening to depends on the scenes I'm writing. Because if I'm writing a party scene, I can't have R&B music playing in the background. Like, I gotta put on, like, my twerking playlist. Or I gotta put on some house music to, like, get in the scene like I'm at a party. So, it depends. Question 20. What is your all-time favorite book? That's too broad of a question. I can't even answer that. I'm going to make the question more specific. And I'm going to change it to, what is my favorite urban fiction book and if that's the case it will be shooting blindly in the dark by nicole jackson and baby girl by i forgot this lady name i'm about to look it up baby girl by siobhan moore the 22nd question is which poem do you like the most and who's the author still i rise by maya angelou 22nd question is, what do you think about how the writing field is evolving? What I like about it is that it's easier to get to get books out now. Like, with ebooks and stuff, it's easier for people to get your books and to read them. It makes um, books more accessible, so I like that. I don't like how... I'm about to shake the table. I don't like how lazy people have gotten what they write in, though. Like... People really just put anything together and call it a book these days. The 23rd question is, what do you have for an energy drink or snack when you're writing? Alright, so I'm weird. I don't like to eat anything while I'm writing because when, I, when I'm eating, whether it be a snack or food, I gotta watch something. So if I was to go and get me like some chips or some or, uh, fix me something to eat while I'm writing, I'm going to end up watching, like, the whole season of Stranger Things. And by the time I realize, oh, damn, like, I'm supposed to be writing. 
like six hours would have been to pass me by and I would have wasted all this time all because I wanted to go and get a snack. So, <laughs> like, I just try to stay, I stay focused when I'm writing. And what I usually do is, I, like, I set a goal, like, okay, I'm going to write for two hours. I'm going to write 100 pages. I'm going to write 50 pages to 20 or whatever the case may be. I'm going to write this much. And after I wrote this much, I can get up and I can go and get a snack. Or I can go and get something to eat. That's I give myself something to work towards so I don't waste time and get distracted. Because I'm easily distracted. So, but as far as like a drink, water, juice to do the trick while I'm writing, I can do that. The 24th question is, what do you enjoy the most? Starting, the climax, or the middle of the book? I guess the accent, what do I enjoy writing the most? And I'm going to go for the um the middle definitely because the beginning can feel kind of slow the ending is always i'm always stuck trying to decide okay how i'm going in this but the middle of the book it's like i found my groove at that point so and i'm usually like flowing really well so i'm gonna go for the middle the 25th question is what motivates you when you feel down talking to friends or a drink. I could go for either one. The 26th question is, which writer inspires you the most? Um, my publisher. And she helps me the most too, so definitely my publisher. Yeah, the, tw the 27th question is, do you get writer's block? Of course. <laughs> I think every writer gets writer's block. If you don't, I don't like you. The 28th question is, what do you do when your head stops giving you ideas? I'm guessing that's writer's block. <laughs> Um, I usually just try to go back to the drawing board, go back to my outline, outline some more because clearly something is not working. Um, I try to, you know, or I feel like I've realized going out and doing something helps me with writer's block too. It just gives me, I don't know, it's just something about going out that gives me more ideas. So, um, outlining and getting out the house to do something. The 29th question is, what are you looking forward to as a writer? Um, writing as a full-time job. That's what I look forward to the most. The 30th question is, what is your goal as a writer? Um, I think that's the same answer to the last question. The same exact answer. The 31st question is, what do you write about the most? Um, I write about the most. I write about love the most. That's usually, a, that's a reoccurring theme in all my books. Love. 32, are you a social person or do you try to remain silent? It's funny because I call myself a social introvert. I, I could be both easily and I think it's the Gemini within me where I could, I'm both, like, I could really sit in a room and observe everything, and I could and I could be the loudest too. It 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 all depends on my mood, honestly. Question thirty three: What is your favorite character that you've created so far? My favorite character is Camilla. Um, mainly because I molded her after me. That's what y'all don't know. I created her like after me. Really, all my characters. You should read my book, so you should know this. It's five, hmm, no, it's four friends. Um, and that there's Camilla, Daisy, Ariella, and Brooklyn. And I molded each of those girls after one of my friends. Some of them are mixes of my friends, so Camilla was molded after me. Now, we have not went through the same things, but I'm saying like her characteristics, who she is, She's a girl after my own heart, so um, I like I like writing about her the most. But I feel like with each book, I, I kind of love the characters more because I dive deep into them. I give them more depth. So I love all my characters. Thirty four. Do you watch movies? Is the sky blue? Thirty four. How many of your books have been published? Two. Going on three very soon. The 35th question is, do you use your books to be a social activist? Um, 
no i never go into a book like okay i gotta preach this to these people like no but what i do do <laughs> i say do do <laughs> What I do is, like, I try not to glamorize situations that shouldn't be glamorized. Because I feel like in urban fiction, stuff like crime and stuff is really glamorized. And I just feel like um, there's nothing glamorous about being a killer or a drug dealer or whatever. But, I mean, it's a lot of people's realities, too. So, I'm not going to shy away from talking about it. But I show you the negative stuff that come with the so-called positive stuff which will only be fast money if you notice like in my first book Jackie may have started off as a drug dealer but he didn't end up being that way so i just try to like you know i try to put stuff in that kind of like you know but i don't ever go into a book like preaching to people about stuff because that's annoying 36 do you think it's important to read and does it polish your writing skills? I think it's, well, okay, if you're a writer, you should uh, you should definitely be a reader too. They go hand in hand because you should read your own damn books. I feel like, um, not that it really polishes my writing skills, but it definitely helps in a way. Like, after I've had a couple of days of writing, just writing, I'd be so drained that I have to wind down. A great way for me to wind down is to read a book. Now, whether the book is trash, mediocre, or amazing, it makes me want to push my pen no matter what. So if I go in a book and I'm like, oh, this is like, this is horrible, I'll be like, bitch, let me get back to my book and do this shit the right way. If I go into a book and I'm like, oh, this book is amazing, I'm like, all right, I'm about to, you know, I'm about to really, now I'm about to really like push my pen. Like, it's motivation either way. So you should definitely read if you're a writer. 37 what do your friends and your family think about your writing passion they're proud of me overall 38 do you like to socialize with other writers um i don't mind but i try not to be too much I, I i don't really like to be in a mix that much but i mean i don't mind socializing with other people i like to talk i guess 39 where do you see yourself in five years um, I see myself with over 20 books published and living lavishly somewhere on the beach with a drink in my hand, married, we can oh wait, this is about my writing, not about my personal life, tripping. Okay, 40, what is your advice to other writers? Um, do research before you start writing about something you don't know about. Do your research. And I, I mean, Google. Google always works. Or you could talk to somebody that's familiar with what you know. I mean, with what you're trying to write about. Just do your research. And don't be lazy. And um, don't just wake up one day and be like, I want to write. I want to be a writer. And you have no burning desire inside of you to do it. Because I know I can't just wake up one day and be like, I want to be a rapper. I want to be a singer. Because I would, I would suck. I would, and, I would, and I would make a mockery of someone else's profession so just be passionate about what you're doing and everything else should fall into place 41 how do you acknowledge beginners this is the last question by the way and it's just so dry how do you acknowledge beginners um i feel like i am a beginner i feel like i am new so i don't know i never had to um i never had to do that so i don't know <laughs> how do y'all acknowledge me i mean yeah, I don't know. That's it for the writing tag. And that was actually really fun. I could talk about writing all day because <laughs> I do that. So that's it for the writing tag. And bye. Told I win again, and I win again, and I win again.